A man was found guilty of murder today after a dispute between neighbours led to the death of an aspiring lawyer. Shafiq Udin from the Isle of Dogs stabbed and killed 20-year-old Sultan Ahmed after a dispute over a leaking drain. Luke Hanrahan reports. It seems almost impossible to believe that something so seemingly small could cause violence and suffering on such a large scale. A leak from one garden into another which resulted in three people being injured and the death of 20-year-old Sultan Ahmed, an aspiring lawyer, described in court as a peacemaker. He was my best friend and he was a lovely character. He was so, so bubbly and he would get along with anyone and everyone. Um, I just miss him a lot. I, I do miss him a lot. Um, he, I, I, there, was, there wouldn't be a day without him. I would literally spend my whole day and night just you know, in contact with him. And, it was lovely. Everyone loved him. This was a dispute between neighbours which quickly escalated. The confrontation happened here on their doorstep. At one stage, the victim had the accused in a headlock, but he escaped. We just tried to get grab hold of the knife. Uh, we got in a little melee at, uh, at the front of the door, and that's when the, the guy pulled away and, and stabbed Sultan. And that, it's just incredible how the situation unfolded. The dispute began after someone from number 41 went round to complain about a leaking drain. Zishan Ahmed, upset by the language used towards his mother, decided, along with a group of friends, to confront his neighbours. It lasted about a minute or so. Um, the, the, the guy got a knife from the kitchen and we, we, as soon as we saw the knife, there was family members all around us, so we, we wanted to make sure that there was no one getting hurt, so we went to disarm the guy and um, as soon as that happened um, he managed to pull away and stab one of my friends. Today Shafiq Udin was found guilty of murder. His wife and daughter cleared of any wrongdoing after a neighbourly spat which cost one man his life. Luke Hanrahan, ITV News. A fifth of children in